Hi. Today I'll be sharing my IELTS speaking sample answer on the cue card describe the photo that you took and are proud of. And, towards the end of the video, I will also jot down important vocabulary that is covered in this sample answer, so that you can take a screenshot of that and improve your lexical resources for scoring better band score overall. I'm David from IELTS speaking samples. We post daily videos for speaking sample cue cards on this channel, which emphasize on improving your fluency and pronunciation. Therefore, you should subscribe to our channel to improve your IELTS speaking and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss our daily band 9 sample answers. I think people cherish memories, and that is why it has been an age-old tradition to always capture memories in vivid ways. In ancient times, the emperors and royal dignitaries used to get their portraits or sculptures made. Why? Well, it is our natural tendency to capture images, and this tendency has proliferated to an unprecedented level in today's world, with the onset of smartphones. I think I have been in love with clicking photographs for the same reason. Though I have clicked several really good snaps there is a particular photo which I adore. It was on a hiking trip to the Himalayas in a beautiful town called Kassol which I visited with my friends. On one fine morning, after we had camped on the top of the mountain, we were just witnessing serene views of the valley. The sun had just risen and my friend was looking at it. I had my camera in my hand and I pointed it towards him and took a snap. I was surprised to see how authentic that picture looked. The picture was able to capture both his gaze and the warm hue of the sun. But, the thing which most impressed me was the feeling that the photo emoted. His gaze towards the sun was natural, and the picture reflected his peaceful state of experiencing that moment. It was then that I realized how pictures are more than just pixels of colors bound together. Rather, when chosen with care, they are moments of life frozen with utmost care. In this part, I have highlighted some difficult words which I used in this cue card. Listen to this part to improve your vocabulary for IELTS speaking. The first one is emoted, which means portraying emotion in a theatrical manner. Dignitaries means a person who is influential or has an important official position. Tendency means something that a person or thing usually does, a way of behaving. Serene is calm and peaceful. That was all for today. Please click on the like button under this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like this cue card sample, then you would definitely love our other video shown on the screen. Click on that and continue improving your speaking.